everybody and welcome to another vlog. I think I knocked the camera when I hit record so I'm just hoping it's going to stay like that. Um, I'll put my this thing there. There we go. Okay, so, um, also, so two things actually. New jacket, this is quite cool. Um, yeah, uh, it might end up coming a little bit up in my in a series me and Rowan might end up doing well probably will uh the two spies if you go on his channel i think there's a trailer no no there isn't a trailer yet because we haven't filmed anything but yeah but this might end up being the jacket that i wear for a bit and then i switch over to the normal coat which check basically any other vlog and i've worn it this one's quite cool when i take it off it's really annoying because it puts up the collar like this and i prefer it but i prefer this one down okay that sounded bad it clicked. I'm not sure what it did. Probably just folded down a bit too quick. But anyway, um, so yes. The other thing about this video is that I am going to talk about the chip. That was it. Um, I forgot. Uh, so yeah, so the, the chip is something that I've mentioned quite a few times. Mostly when Skyrim started. When Skyrim started, I brought in this device. I thought I had explained it. Though very early on, actually, my friend who watched a little bit of the series told me I haven't explained what the chip was. So I'm going to move a little bit this way. Um, but yeah, so I hadn't explained what it actually did. Um, and that sort of annoyed me. And, I, you know, if you look back to how long ago Skyrim was, it was a pretty long time ago. So yeah, so I've just finished Fallout and I was just thinking... Since I've now finished that, and Gordon is technically the main reason I brought in the chip in the first place, because I will, or I might have now mentioned it in a couple of the other things after that, like, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it in Uncharted, but I'm very sure I've mentioned it in Mass Effect. So anyway, um, Mass Effect Andromeda, not Mass Effect 2, that's in my random playlist, whatever. Anyway, um, so the chip is sort of, uh, a device which is mostly just used by the DHD. Um, if anyone, you know, just look at the video I did a little while ago for the DHD. I'm going to make a playlist of these, just little information bits about certain stuff, how I'm filming. Sorry. So yeah, um, I should mention this a little bit better. Um, but yeah, um, I don't usually film in my room, as you can probably tell, because if you look at my channel, mostly not vlogs. But anyway, um, but yeah, so the... The chip technically doesn't have a single look, it's pretty much whatever the person wants it to be. So, for instance, Steven, so the Minecraft character, is um, his is a rose, so the rose he wears in his jacket. Tuxedo, blazer, whatever it's called. Um, I think it's a blazer if it's like a formal jacket. But anyway, um, so you're on his blazer. Um... Uh, and most of the time I just look for characters that have something all the time. So Nate, you pretty much always has a ring. Uncharted 3, there is that little gap where he doesn't have it. And in some ways, if I just if I don't die when playing through that on my channel, because I haven't finished the game yet, if I don't have if I don't die, then it won't really matter because I can just go like, yeah, he's not wearing one, so you know, if he died, he would have been dead. But anyway, I'll figure out some way to explain that. Um, Oh yeah, actually there, there was a reason for that. Um, if Usually the chip is worn by the two people there. So for instance, pretty much every time I usually stick there that there's the character and then there's the person inside their head. So for instance, me. Um, since I'm the only one who you ever see. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I sort of have the voice in the head. I also have a version of the chip that I don't own anymore. Well, I still own it, I just don't know where it is. It's a mood ring. It's gone now. Probably wouldn't fit me anyway. Um, that or a watch, but I need to wear a watch because I lost that as well. I'm very good at not losing things. Um, yeah, this is why I want to put a tracking device on a car when I get one because I'm probably going to lose that as well. Um, but yes, so anyway, um, so there are maybe two people who have the chip. Uh, the person inside their head doesn't really need one because what the chip actually does is it keeps the person immortal basically. So it means that when they die, the chip sort of won't technically that's what the saving is. It is then putting like this little freeze point on somewhere 
where it just remembers everything that's happening across the entire area, across the entire sort of world and the universe and everything, and it just pauses that moment and it almost saves it so that it can go back to that moment in case the wearer dies. That way you're technically jumping back in time and changing time, but because it froze all of the universe, when you do that you actually aren't... It's different to normal time travel because when you do it... When, when you do the difference with time travel is usually when you go back in time, you'd be causing the paradox a paradox, because then they weren't meant to die and all of that. Difference is, though, that because those things are being frozen, they're not really being rewritten in time, they're sort of already existing in time, so they don't cause paradox. Not only that, the wearer sometimes, depending on who it is, doesn't know that they've gone back in time. If they don't have someone like one of these, like one of us, inside their head, who will actually see them die and still remember the going back in time because they're not technically there, then the wearer may not even know that they went back in time and that they died. For them, there would be maybe sometimes no change. It depends how advanced your version of the chip is. Um, surprisingly, it's actually the more advanced ones, which sometimes help you forget. It's like a setting. You can turn it on and off. Uh, some people prefer to turn it off so that they don't know what's coming still. Although often if they do die multiple times by the same reason that they do then have it almost turned back on. So that they remember what they're doing that's killing them. So yeah. Um, anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's sort of how it keeps them sort of immortal. They often, they pretty much all the time they do also freeze your aging. But that depends who you are. So for instance, like Master Chief, he has his age frozen. Because I have no clue how old he is. But when you see his face, he looks like 40. Um, but anyway, but characters such, so you know, people like Nate and Gordon don't freeze it. Gordon does, is meant to look like he hasn't, um, froze it, but I think both times though he has looked 30, which was a mistake, he's meant to look 20. He's 21 in Fallout. Thing is that the next story which I'll be doing, which is that robot one, Automanic, there, it's that weird one, that's the next one which I'm going to be doing on Fallout. That one, he's 22, but it's three years later. Actually, it's two years later, because Fallout moved over into the next month. No, not the next month, the next year. Anyway, um, but yeah, so he is 22, no, yeah, 22, two years after being 21. I know, wait, hang on, I'm confusing myself now, no, wait. Why is it three years? I really wish I, I had some papers somewhere at one point which had all of the ages noted down. It's probably here somewhere. And I just don't know. I can't be bothered to get and look for it. Is it over there? It's probably downstairs. It's whenever I need something, it's not here. But it's um, an age list that I have with everything. That or he's 23 and it took him three years to get there from 21. I don't know. That still doesn't make massive sense. Yeah, it's probably 23. So, yeah, so from that point, it's, yeah, two, three years till that time, because he ages two years lower. That is actually because he's not a complete dimensionator, and the chip can't really work with that. Same reason, though, that he also is different. The original versions of the chips, with the chips, um, but yeah, the one that you get with Retro, so the guy from Terraria, and Steven, uh, the guy from Minecraft, as I said. Both of them had the first version of the chips. Steven was the first um, member of the, not the first member, but the first Dimensionator in the DHD, basically. Um, I'll do a complete other video on what Dimensionators are, because I keep realising that I have things that I need to explain. Like, these are main parts, the DHD, the chip, Dimensionators, Dr. Limmer, me, Rowan, Ben, you know, those other characters. I don't know why I said Ben, he doesn't really need one, but anyway. Um, and yes, yeah, so, anyway, uh, so, Steven was the very first one. He had the very first version of the chip. No sort of war one, but it wasn't a, like a normal version that you would get now, or even then. Um, but yeah, so, one with Steven was when he put it on. Difference was that when Nurse, like when me, when I'm inside his head, I have complete control over his body. Whilst with Gordon, I don't have that. 
he has a bit of control over his body still, but I can still control him quite a bit, such as moving around. But really, how he does that, he does that the way he chooses. Um, well, Steven and Retro, for instance, they both move the same way every single time. So, you know, when I tell, uh, like, Retro to hit or whatever, he does that same motion. Well, actually, this depends which sword he's got. Oh, it just poach you with a stick, basically. But, yeah, but he does, like, that motion over the top. Similar thing with uh, Steven just doing that. But it's not even, like, this thing where I'm doing sort of this. It's the same every single time. It's basically you just did that and then looped it multiple times. And that's what the chip basically did. It got a single movement and then just looped it over and over again. So his walking, his, their running, all of that is all the same. Those were basically the only two to have that. That's why we're not usually with them, because we take so much away from them. It was when um, Gorn came in that we started to change that, and started working on ways to act, well, work it, worked harder on ways to change it. Because now it wasn't like, oh yeah, it's a problem that everybody has. In which, if it's a problem that everyone has, it's not, I suppose, as urgent to fix. Unless it's a really big problem, but that thing, because that, we're not usually there, you know. We're there for maybe 20 minutes or something. You know, we're not, or half an hour or whatever. It's not that long a time. When, um... But yeah, but when Gorn came, because he was less dimensioned, he was able to sort of break that pattern, so yeah. Um, and now, then it was unfair, because few people didn't then have that problem. So then we started to try and make it back to being fair on trying to make it like that. Problem is, we can't remove the chip from them. Because when we do, they've been actually alive... Retro and Steven, technically you don't see this, because, as I said, they froze their ageing. Um, theirs wasn't, like, compatible, not compatible. Theirs wasn't optional, they had their ages frozen. So, Steven and Retro are both, like, 20s. And they're just frozen like that. They will never age, basically, ever again. Because we can't remove the chip and change stuff. Um... Uh, not Steven, Gordon got a new version of the chip, which could actually be easily modified. Uh, that's what it's level up, leveling up it basically is. It is modifying the chip to m change things around what he's like. You know, now he can breathe underwater, I think, and, yeah, so it's, and won't take radiation from water. It's what he needs, you know. And anyway, in some locations, he needs to swim for ages. But yeah, so anyways. So that's like what Gorn has. When, though, when he um, switched over to Fallout, he gave the chip to Voltaic. They took it apart. They gave him back the gold part. Um, that's what it, you see under that stone-like ring that is in Skyrim. It's that sort of gold layer. And then, that was able to keep him alive. It was able to not malfunction enough that would actually kill him like it would normally because if you have the chip removed from basically any of the dimension it's usually depending on how long they've been alive all those years will come back with Gordon it wouldn't matter that much because he's only been he did that on the first year so really he would have just aged normally um so yeah but anyway um but yeah and they put it together and made a pit boy that is why there's only one pit boy in that vault, because basically it was the only sort of... I think it was the only one. I never saw another one. Um, so, yeah. Um, when Gorn put that on, it then sort of changed everything. Add that the chip works normally. Um, so, a few people have that where they have two items, but most of the time it's one. So, yeah. And as I said, most people can have them however they want. For instance, Rico has that um, cross around his neck. On most of my videos, it's hard to see, but it is there. He has a cross. Um, and, um, to remember, as I said, Nate has a ring. A lot of these characters have rings. Um, Faith from Mirror's Edge has the, um, that weird thing she's given right at the very start. It's like a contact lens, but I think it only goes in one eye or something. But yeah, that is her version of the chip. Um, it was, so yeah, so there was all that stuff. Um, but yeah, the chip pretty much just runs off of life force. And that's usually why they're advised to be immortal. Because it eats up years in minutes. 
that sounds really weird. But yeah, so it does that really quite quickly. I'm fiddling with this and I've now unclipped it. Um, I need to put that back together. Sheep. Um, but yes. Uh, so. Yes. <laughs> now I remember where I was. So yeah, so the years then. Then the years are sort of changed and all that, and they're somehow converted to energy. So, yeah, so basically, it's the life force. This is why usually people, anyway, outside um, of being dimensionators, don't wear them because they do that. Like, characters like Nurse and Rowan can wear them, but they run slightly more off of Limonite, which is something else I'll go into when I probably start talking about Dr. Limer. Limonite is an element on the island. Um, but anyway. So yes, yeah, so, um, it runs more on limonite, whilst um, the others don't really need that. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so usually when you're wearing it, you usually age slightly faster. So Nurse doesn't anyway usually wear it, unless he is going into someone else's head, and usually has it as a backup in case the chip is taken away from the other guy. He quickly just puts it on and whatever it is, the watch or the ring or whatever, and yeah. Um, and if he has both on, it just doubles the power of it. Um, because also then that's, that, I suppose, increases his, um, decreases the speed of him losing, losing life force. Because it, well, actually, wait, it would be exactly the same. It just wouldn't mean that, it, it would double it. I'm trying to figure out what, how that would work. But anyway, it would double the speed, I suppose. But anyway, um, so yeah. And lots of characters... Uh, basically every character does have an item which they always have. If you look at every video game that's ever been made, usually a character does have one thing that they always have, or at least a player usually has one thing that they always have. Um, I suppose with not really choice games, but I suppose like um, for instance I said in Mass Effect that the Omni tool is Sarah's version of the chip and it works a little bit well because I'd already seen a little bit of the demo that bit where they break the helmet and I just thought and then they use the Omni tool to fix it and I just thought that is something that the ship would do I have no clue though why they showed that because you know in the exact same mission you have the helmet broken again but this time it's a massive hole and you can't fix it so the point in breaking the helmet and then fixing it was that to go, make it go like, oh yeah, you can't make fun of it for going, you would have broken something from that fool, or, you know, or is this going to, because I, as I said, I haven't finished the game, I do play through it much faster on my own account, but anyway, but, you know, so I don't know why they showed that, but yeah, so, uh, generic characters, the characters which don't have anything sort of changed, like when I start playing Assassin's Creed, I, again, I suppose I did do one um, Assassin's Creed Black Flag video and then just never played it again. On YouTube, I finished the game like twice. Um, actually, no, I only finished it once and then restarted it. But yeah, but the um, Assassin's Blade, I love the way I'm doing gestures. Um, but yeah, so the Assassin's Blade is basically their version of it. And it, as I said, it can, it can be modified. I don't like this one too much because you can modify everything and get... I know you can craft stuff and it's slightly better, but still... Um, so yeah, so the Assassin Blades, they're technically their version of it, and yeah, um, why do they only have one Assassin Blade now? Just mentioning that, because in Assassin's Creed Black Flag, they say, oh yeah, two, that's the standard, isn't it? Now it's one. Why? Don't know. Um, but yeah, um, so, anyway, um, but, yeah. So the chip is multiple things. A few characters it's really hard to do anything with, like for instance 47 um, from Hitman, if you don't know. Um, I, I would say that because I've been playing a lot of Hitman, I've been trying to get elusive targets done because I really want an outfit. Actually I want the winter coat and the terminus outfit, but there is one elusive target left from what I know, and then they finish it all. So I'm just really hoping I can just buy the outfit or something some, at some point later on. Or whatever, and then I might do gaming for it. But anyway, um... But yeah, but with 47, he doesn't have a iconic, but he does have a signature outfit. But the whole point of sort of the game is that usually you change your outfit, and I barely ever do suit only because they're really hard. Um, and also, they're just sometimes really annoying. Um, but yeah, um, but go, 
but yeah, so he doesn't really wear like a single outfit. He doesn't carry a single item with him everywhere he goes. Instead, you have a chance of having a single item in your entire game. Like maybe it's a gun or something like that. But yeah, so it's quite hard to work on. Um, with him, I just just good that there is something in that barcode on the back of his head. Like it's either the barcode or something inside it. Um, just saying, after Hitman. What was the point in Hitman Absolution cutting it? Because it did nothing. It's there in Hitman. Uh, it just just to make this clear, because I didn't know this when I started playing Hitman. Uh, Hitman Absolution takes place before Hitman. Hitman is based after that. He is 55. I only realised this when zooming in on his face and knowing this, that I then realised he doesn't look 20. <laughs> I thought it was based before that. Um, mostly because actually the beginning of the game takes place at the start and I just assumed the rest of it but anyway so yeah so things like that is quite hard but as I said don't know why you cut it off because when you cut it off you assume that you would have lost it but the plaster does change throughout it from covering completely to covering a little bit at the end of the game and then in this one there is no change to it so no clue what he actually did with that I don't know maybe cut the chip out of his back of his head or something but yeah, so the barcode technically is meant to be something to do with that. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I think that's pretty much everything to do with the chip, so immortality. Oh yeah, it also acts as a slight teleporter, such as fast travel and things like that. So it can teleport you around, also it can do time travel. As I said, because they removed a load of stuff from um, Gorn's uh, version of the chip, it can't do... Um, the time speed up thing whenever, the wait, whenever he wants. Um, I can only really do it when he's not moving, such as sitting down. I don't know why though. Um, why did they change that? I don't know. But anyway, um, so yeah, so, uh, it also has a dimensional thing, so you can open portals and go through them, and, yeah. So I think that's everything. Uh... Crafting, oh yeah, inventory stuff, it's, you know, it sort of contains the inventory inside you. Technical dimension have a pocket dimension that is inside them. And that's sort of where people like me would sit and sort of control them slightly. It's a bit like Inside Out. If, yeah, it's a bit like Inside Out, I suppose, but not really. Um, so yeah, and it's just where they can keep all their stuff as well. So that's why when you overweigh them, like Gordon... Um, you just walk around really slowly, or you actually have a limit, like, Gorn doesn't technically have a limit. Um, we should put one on him, though, because it is really annoying. Uh, like, I'm transferring all this stuff across to his new house. It is so slow, because I pick up all the junk, and then I've got to leave some behind and fast travel, fast travel. It's really annoying. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, when I'm going through the rest of... So it's good to sort of know a little bit like that. To be honest, I think I just came up with it just for that pure reason of saying this is where he keeps his stuff. Like, some people say that it's kept inside, the, like, the stuff is kept in the pit boy somehow. This is how that's sort of explained with me. And the same thing goes with Skyrim, that there was nothing that you were actually keeping it in. It just disappeared. You could say magic, but still. That's some really good spells. Um, so yeah. So that, he just keeps everything inside that and that's why he's never been pickpocketed before because you can't he's got nothing actually in his pockets um yeah um so it was just sort of some way just to fix up some of the problems that i had with games and how things just didn't make sense like when your character died and saving and yeah and all of that so i just went you know have the chip this device which just did everything. i know it's got a very basic name but it works so anyway Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later. Bye.